Hi, today we're going to make um, some journals out of garbage. Um, we're going to make... Garbage that we you would use for trash. Something, yeah, something that we do ordinarily throw away um, or use for waste. But we're going to use we're gonna use paper bags and uh, we're going to use cardboard for the cover. And for the binder, we're going to use uh, strips of plastic. And uh, let me show you... First, what we're going to do is we're going to take the paper bags and we're going to need to make them into big strips of paper like this. Now I'm going to cut this into four. The long way. None of the papers are going to match, and they're not going to—they're not going to line up straight. But that's what's going to make this look cool. Who cares? It's just garbage. <laughs> One of my friends doesn't like writing in those fancy blank books that you buy in the store because he's afraid that you know his words in the journal aren't worth the paper they're printed on. <laughs> so it's Eric, and <laughs> he he has to travel on a boat. And last time he brought the book, go and show them, show us the book book that he brought on. And it smells like and smells like fish. After I made one of these for a friend who works on a fishing boat. He was he brought this book with him. I can um, see it from my oh here from my library and uh, and it got it uh, it smelled smelled a little fishy for a while. It doesn't smell it so bad now. But if this gets ruined, it's no big deal. If you use six bags and cut them into quarters like this, then you'll have six, then you'll have four bundles of six pages. But when you're putting them together in a book, you want to make sure that as much as possible, any of the writing and the printing on the bag isn't going to be on the surface that you're going to want to write on. That's not, you're not going to be able to avoid it in all cases, but uh, when you're putting it together, just keep an eye out for that. Now we're going to cut the strips of plastic that we're going to use for the binding. Um, very thin, like grocery store bags, won't work as well. If you have something a little bit thicker like this, like a bookstore plastic bag, that'll work better. And I'm um, going to cut it into strips probably about an inch and a half to two inches wide, and then we're going to braid them. Now I've got this all, the journal's going to look like this, I trimmed up the edges here, and um, we got it marked, I'm going, to take a, I'm going to take a power drill now, and I'm going to drill holes, I'm going to drill five holes along here, I got the holes drilled right there, so I'm going to take this, put a piece of tape on the end so it's a point here, and I'm going to weave it through. Is it difficult, Dad? This is the this is the tough part, getting it to go back through the holes you've already come through. Now, when you I got it tied here, and you want to trim some of that, but don't trim too much. Partially because it looks kind of cool, sort of. And there's your journal. Thanks, Dad. Hey, you're welcome. Bye, bye. Bye, bye.